Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your mid-month reading for June 2024. I'm so happy to see you here, and I hope this is very helpful for you. Uh, what we're doing is we are tapping into um, the source energy or your higher self energy, the higher self collective um, is the term that I usually use uh, for um, your highest timeline. What is the highest potential available for you for the second half of June? Okay, so I'll go ahead and begin pulling cards. Um, I am feeling like pulling from the tarot of the sacred kingdoms from you first um if you're interested in these cards the link is below in the description and um this means we're going deep right away so i'm pretty fascinated okay because these cards are, are are pretty deep all right so i'll go ahead and switch this camera view and one more time let's go ahead and just get that full screen available for you all right scorpio what is available for you for oh the um, second week of second, two weeks, the second half of June. Okay. So we've got the page of pentacles is where we're starting, which is where you're getting really curious and beginning to understand and know more about the things that you are interested in your physical life. Pentacles is about your physical manifested life. Okay. And the page of pentacles, uh, the pages often are good news or new information. It's something, a new understanding, starting to begin to see something in a brand new light of what's available for you. Um, as far as money is concerned, as far as what you, uh, what your material life world looks like. Okay. So that's a fantastic way to start page of pentacles. All right, let's keep going here. And now we have the seven of pentacles. Ooh, okay. So seven of pentacles is where you're taking a step back and you're actually looking at the world that you have built for yourself and you're reassessing if what you have paid attention to, what you have given your attention to, where you have been focused, all of the energy that you've put forth in your life, has it been worth it? Is this what you really want or is there more available for you? Okay. Very resonant with that page of pentacles. Very, very, very in tune with one another. Okay. All right, let's keep going here. And we now have the Ace of Pentacles. So because you're curious, because you were curious, because you took that moment um, to assess and to reevaluate, now you have opened up a new door for yourself around finances, of being able to bring in a fresh new stream of income for yourself, uh, being able to experience maybe a new career, but it's opened up something new, something you had not experienced before because you took the time to do this in assessment. Okay. So let's keep going here and see what else is on the table for you. Where's this leading? Where's this going? What's going on with you, Scorpio? It looks pretty good. Looks like you're doing this stuff. I am going to continue shuffling here because that just, those cards just like a bunch of them popped out and were a bit messy. Oh, this one wants to come the page of wands, page of wands, creative action. Okay. Opportunity take walking into something that you're exploring with complete curiosity. Okay. Page. Remember it's in, new information. It's something new. Wands is, um, opportunity. It's creativity. It's action. It's uh, something new available for you. You've got some definitely new stuff. Your life is really, really taking a big, um, leap forward, big evol evolutionary step. Oh, and now we have the two of cups. Okay. So the two of cups talks about soulmate energy, but it also talks about your relationship to your higher self. So based on these five cards here is the relationship that you have been in and the relationship with yourself in a solid place. Has it been as fruitful as it could be? Has it been as expansive or as fantastic as it could be? Is there something else out there for you? Or is there a new direction that you and your partner, or you and your higher self could go to enhance your life? Okay. So this is really good. This is you. And I mean, you're the card, you're excuse me, the card, you're the sign of shared resources. You are the sign of big, like windfalls of large 
amount of money. So um, this this could mean, and, and then the world card. Okay, so this could mean that you're ending, this is an end of something, something that has been big. You're saying goodbye to something that you had been, the, a journey that you had been on for a, quite a while. So it starts with the full, goes through the entire major arcana, and then it ends with um, a complete... Um, new version of you like you've learned all the things you needed to you've understood what you've needed to you've evolved where you've needed to and you have now come to a closing of one cycle to open up a new cycle for yourself okay so um i think it's very appropriate that you're taking a step back and looking and reassessing the relationships that you have reassessing your relationship with yourself finding out what you and your higher self can now jump into all right because this is a fresh new version of you all right so continuing on i'm just going to keep pulling cards here until um so we've got the we've got the king of swords the king of swords is absolute truth okay you're fixed um water sign fixed emotional sign the king of swords is fixed air sign fixed knowledge so it seems to me that what you have gained from these experiences here and you have now ended the cycle, you have gained absolute solid knowledge on a subject. Okay. So let's continue on absolute truth. This is truth. Again, this is very, this is truth in, oh, I can't help but think that with this, with this, this two of cups heart card here, the truth of your relationship and how it's impacting your physical life. Okay. So there's, it may be a hard truth, but it may be a truth that, that, um, inspires or can supports this new version of you. It's an evolution. So whatever you have come to understanding, whatever you come to see clearly, it's perfect clarity, uh, is perception in the way that your higher self sees it, being able to see yourself, your worthiness, your life, the things that you're putting your attention on in the same way that you're resonant with your higher self and beginning to evolve in your actual relationships with other people. Okay. So, and it's abundant in nature. Okay. You're, you're, you're pursuing abundance. Okay. In the pursuit of greater abundance in your life. Now we have the hanged man, which also talks about perception. It talks about being able to see your life through the lens of truth, but in a way that drives passion, drives desire, a way that is like perfect clarity, perfect enlightenment for the path forward. Okay. So you're being asked to give yourself that time to be able to see the inspired direction from your higher self. All right. And so now we have the empress. Okay. So the empress is the queen of the harvest. She is also the one who is birthing new experiences, birthing new creativity. It also can mean a literally birth of a, of a new child or a birth of something that has been important to you that you have been working on or gestating or cultivating in your own personal life. And it is about to now be, um, it's about to now show up in your physical, physical life. So something that you're passionate about, some, some sort of truth that you come into some sort of new evolution of your relationship is now birthing this entire new pathway for you and this new pathway forward. Both those are talking about new pathway forward. What does this new pathway hold for you? What is, what is, oh, okay. So we have the lovers. Now I am seeing it. It did come reversed. I'm trying to talk to, I'm trying, I'm asking spirit, is it meant to stay reversed? It is not meant to stay reversed. It is meant to be upright. Okay. So we have this card of relationship. We have this card of relationship. If you look here, this is this almost like this, this, um, innocence, this childlike innocence where two have come together. Okay. In the sense of purity. Now we're seeing this evolution and this isn't normally the way that I would interpret this card, but the way that it's coming forward for you is what is being birthed for you is a now a more mature version of you in relationships and the way that the interaction is with you and a partner. Okay. So it's a much more mature relationship with yourself and a much more mature relationship with, uh, um, an actual romantic relationship. I mean, this is the lovers. This is a romantic relationship. Let's not kid ourselves here. Okay. So, okay. So let's see here. Let's go where, what else do we need to know about this evolution of this relationship for Scorpio? 
Okay. So there are going to be in order to, so it seems to me that maybe influences, maybe other people, maybe people that you had been friends with or connections that you had, had been from a less mature place with inside of you because we have the four of, pent um, the, excuse me, the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles talks about where there's a parting of ways. Now, this does not mean that you and your lover are parting ways because what we've seen here is an evolution, a clear new path, um, a, a, an end of a cycle that has brought you to a new version of yourself that's a more mature version of yourself. It could mean that maybe a relationship that you have with friend, it also could mean that if there is maybe a more mature partner that is expressing an interest in you, that's the direction to go because this five of pentacles is telling me that there's an immature wounded relationship that you're saying goodbye to. Okay. Again, this could be friends. It could be the current relationship if you're, that you're in is based on a wound and you now have to uh, make the more mature decision to pursue um, a more mature relationship with yourself or a relationship with uh, a partner that is, um, uh, a better fit for who you actually are now. So there is definitely this evolution. There is definitely you saying goodbye to um, some type of relationship that's not serving you and a, a, a big up level in you in your relationships. Okay. So now we have the five, see five of swords. So five is always like conflict and liberation. Okay. So through conflict, we, we liberate ourselves. Now the five of swords is this card where you go out on your own. Okay. You make the mature independent decision for yourself. What is best for you? Okay. So again, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to break up with a certain part uh, or the current partner. That means that if you do have a current partner relationship, it is on it is necessary for the evolution to take place with, with, within both parties, because that is what is best for you. If the relationship is not able to grow together, it is time for you to separate from the way that you had been operating, the way that you had been engaging with this group. It could be just a group of friends. We could be talking about you separating yourself from, but you do walk away from the a relationship that you had been in and you go independent on your own for what is best for you towards your enlightenment, towards your enlightenment, your light new path. You're beginning to see what is now is possible for you. And it's time for you to take that. Okay. And now what do we have? The King of Pentacles. Now, I love this for you. I love this outcome so much because what you're pursuing here is a new pathway of abundance. I mean, I'm talking money here, a new financial um, a pathway coming into you, a new stream of income. And what we have now is literally the mature version of yourself. Okay. The King of Pentacles is somebody who has used maturity. He has used wisdom. He has used um, all of the, the um, intellect and, and knowledge gained from experiences in order to build his personal empire. And he is the wealthiest king. This is you being absolutely responsible for your physical life, responsible for your own path, and you being, a, being able to tap into an enormous amount of actual physical money abundance for yourself. Like you're building an empire and it's just beginning. That's the theme I'm feeling for you, Scorpio. You're building an empire for yourself and that's just the beginning. So that may need to, the, the relationships that you have in your life, there is an energy stream within you that is going into those relationships. And you've got to make some really, really mature decisions for yourself of the people that you're surrounding yourself. The people that are closest to you must be supportive of this mature version of you that is tapping into your new timeline, your new best, um, best life that you are going to be living that is very abundant in nature. Okay. So that's a really amazing outcome. I do want to go ahead and pull another card, see what else there is that source may need to share with you. would like to share with you um, about your journey forward. I think that we need to, Oh my God. Okay. The magician. Okay. So <laughs> I mean, okay, this is literally, okay, you're getting everything you want. And I would tell you that every Scorpio that I know has never gotten exactly what they want because they are emotionally fixed upon their desires. And so they absolutely have complete conviction in getting what they want. And so 
you being clear and seeing this path of what you want unfolding right before your eyes and this new version of yourself, literally it is going to manifest without question, without question. Okay. So, um, you know, I do have to say, which do I apologize for, uh, for what I'm reading in your, in your, in your chart here, uh, or in your cards here? Uh, do I apologize that maybe you have to say goodbye to people? I don't know, but I do feel a little, a little bit, sorry, a little bit sad that maybe some of those less mature relationships, the immature relationships you are saying goodbye to, um, but it is part of the growth process. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry that that has to be the case at this point, but I'm so excited for what is on the other side of that, what is now available to you and that you are able to use the energy that had been going into something that was immature, using that energy towards what is in front of you, what is now opening up for you, what is now available for you, and being able to spend that energy on yourself. And now I see the five of cups. No, I'm sorry, the four of cups. <laughs> I apologize. And that's the four of cups. Okay. So the four of cups. Okay. So the four of cups talks about where things ha are falling apart, where things are kind of tattered in your life, where things are just not um, as, um, as satisfying or as fruitful again, as you thought that they were going to be. And this is where you literally, again, say goodbye for gaining your own sense of stable satisfaction. Okay. So you do have to say goodbye to something. I am, I am sorry. You do have to say goodbye to something. And I think that you already know where you are wasting your energy in some relationships where some of those relationships aren't serving your next best version of you. But every card here is showing up that there is something really, really light and magnificent available for you. Okay. And I think that you can see this pathway opening and you're ready to take it. You're ready to take it. And I would say, just be so proud of yourself that you have done everything and look at here. Now we have the six of wands, which is all about victory. This is where your pure intentions, simply because it's important to you, passion driven, action oriented, now manifested, um, pathway available life for you that others get to see this achievement that you've made. And actually those that now you surround yourself with are those that cheer you on. So you want those who are cheering you on in your corner and it's time to go ahead and release those who are not in your corner. The ones that want you serving them or playing small games, you're done with playing the games. You're done with, with immaturity in your life and you're ready to, to take action in a very, very, extremely abundant new path for you. So I would say, um, enjoy spending all of that money and, and be very proud of yourself for all of the work that you've done to raise yourself up, to grow into this next highest version of you, to gain what you needed to out of the old cycle. And now you are a much more stable, secure you. So I am proud of you. I hope that you are proud of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.